hello everybody welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be showing you how to download and install drupal 7 via zamp server so first open your browser and go to drupal drupal 7 click on that so the url is drupal.org project slash drupal release 7.82 so once we are there you download the zip version so just click on download and then your drupal will be downloaded here once the download is complete click on it show in folder and here is the downloaded drupal 7 zip folder so right click extract all then click on extract there your files will be extracted and once it is finished, click on the extracted file, open it, so you can see the Drupal files are in here. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy this entire folder, right click, copy, and then go to C, and we go to our ZAMP installation directory. You need to make sure that you have ZAMP installed. If you don't have ZAMP installed, refer to the previous video on how to install ZAMP on Windows. So click on the ZAMP folder. Within the ZAMP folder, you'll see a folder called htdocs. So click on it. And inside the htdocs, right-click and paste the Drupal files you copied. So after this, we are going to rename this folder. Right-click, rename. To, for example, portfolio. So, so after doing this, we have to start ZAMP server so to do that you come to start and look for zamp or simply search zamp control panel and it is right there so we open it and then we start apache and then start mysql so after starting the server you can minimize this we go to our web browser and type localhost and then from there we shall go to php my admin click on it once you open php my admin you create a new database so click on new create a database we shall call it portfolio then click on create so once we have created the database you can see that it's empty there is no table in it nothing so we are going to open another tab and then go to localhost slash portfolio which is the folder that we created the drupal folder press enter so here it will ask us to select installation profile so we are going to use standard and then save and continue we shall use english save and continue and then the database name so we are going to give this database name this is what we are going to write here so we shall call it portfolio and then username, we shall call it root. And then we can leave the password as empty. Advanced options, we can add the database host, which is by default local host. So we shall leave it like that. And then the port, we can leave it empty. And then table prefix, we can say pt, or you can leave it empty. And then save and continue. So after this, our installation process begins. So now we shall give the site name as portfolio, which I'm going to say my portfolio. I'll call it, give it my name, and then write my email address at gmail.com. And then site maintenance user, username, I'll call it the same name. And then you create a password here, and then confirm your password. So after that, scroll down, you can choose the country, click on the drop down, search your country, press enter, and then also you can put the time zone, so you can search for your time zone here, so let me look for Africa, Kampala, it's right here, click on that, and then you can check for updates automatically or receive email notifications, you can leave this unchecked or you can check them. So save and continue. So you can choose to save your password or you cannot. So here our site is 
is finished installing. So this is an error of unable to send email. Contact the site administrator if the problem persists. Okay, this is just email. So to view the website, you just click on visit your new site. And then here you go. Our Drupal installation is complete. So you can add content, you can add modules. So for example, let's add content. Press on content. We add content. Let's call it basic page. So give it a title about. Then generate lorem. Just go to lorem ipsum.com. Click on generate. And then just copy this content. Copy this paragraph. Come here. Paste it there. Then you can provide a menu link for it. And it will be called about. Comments closed. And then save. So this is how to basically install Drupal 7 on ZAMP. In the next episode, we shall look at how to customize Drupal sites to suit your needs. Thank you so much for watching. This is all for today. Bye.